everyone, welcome to Middle Earth, welcome to Hobbiton. So now that we've uh, passed through the front gates, we are on the Alexander Farms, and this road that we're travelling on now, it was built by the New Zealand Army. If you look out to the right, you can kind of appreciate there why they chose this farm. They like the lovely rolling landscape, the trees and the big long lines there, and although you can't see them right now, there is a range out there in the background called the Kaimais, and all of this could be used to depict the loof. Yeah. Now across the uh, gully there, there's a group of very tall pine trees on the other side. Now, in amongst those pine trees, you won't be able to see it from here, but there is a natural narrow cutting. And they decided to use that for the start of the film when Frodo and Gandalf first meet. So from this point we can show you with the remaining 17 Hobbit holes how they actually put Hobbiton together. So behind the movie set sign that area is known as Bagshot Row and that is the first part of the Shire you see as Gandalf and Frodo ride into the Shire. Up the top we have Bag End home of Frodo and Bilbo Baggins. Now for those of you that have ever had a fantasy of wanting to be a hobbit in a hobbit hole, you'll be able to fulfill that fantasy when we get up the top there because that is the only hobbit hole you can get into. But if you look around in a 360 degree radius, there's no man-made power lines, roads or buildings. No sign of 21st century. And the second one, listen. Apart from a few lost lands, no traffic noises, no sirens, no trains. like everything else was filmed down in Peter Jackson's film studio and not here on the site itself. And this here behind me is uh, Bilbo Baggins house. Let's go check it out. See if he's home. Hello? Bilbo? Bilbo are you home? Hello? Hmm. He must be out. Nice view though, huh? I'm fine. Not paying attention. 